O M G M S G R I P. What has happened to Paul Heyman? We're going to take a look in today's Unmissable. The world is watching. Hi guys, I'm Dave in Real Life and welcome to today's video. Yes, it's OMG MSG RIP Paul Heyman. Uh, <laughs> obviously a little bit of a fun little uh, title to this video. Obviously you're all well aware of what happened on last night's Smackdown. Yes, the closing of the show. We wanted uh, the bloodline came out. They had a bit of a ceremony for uh, Jacob Fatu. And by the way, absolutely brilliant uh, entrance for Jacob Fatu. Honestly, well-deserved. Looks absolutely boss. So, yeah, all of this was about uh, Sokoa getting recognition as the new head of the table, the tribal chief. He wanted the Ula Vala placed on him by Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman ended up refusing. In fact, he stood up for himself. He finally wasn't fearing for his life. <laughs> and he stood up to Sokoa and said, you are not my type tribal chief. With him saying that, things would get nasty and would turn for the worst as uh, Heyman was attacked. Uh, ended up getting a headbutt from the uh, top rope from uh, Jacob Fatu, but it didn't end there. No, it just didn't. He ended up being placed through the announced desk by Jacob Fatu as well. Obviously, the Ulavala did get placed on Sokoa. Now the new appointed head of the table. Uh, obviously, without the wise man, I don't know uh, who's going stri to keep these uh, res restrained, who's going to keep them under wraps, because obviously they're just out of control at the moment, which is completely different to the control that was earlier on in the night, where we saw Cody Rhodes, Randy Orton and Kevin Owens working as a unit, working as a team, taking out their announce, uh, advanced uh, ed well, the security, the jobbers, enhancement talent. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> but yeah, obviously, yeah. I feel that Paul Heyman's going to take a little bit of time out in this situation. Uh, hopefully not for too long. But I'm going to just put this out there. I mean, I don't think this will happen. I think it will lead to him coming back with Roman Reigns. But... I can't help think that in your hour of need, who do you turn to if you're Paul Heyman? He is the advocate of a certain beast incarnate. Brock Lesnar. Yeah, I mean, I don't think he will get involved in this storyline, but it'd be a good little way of keeping this going a little bit longer until uh, Roman is ready to return. Obviously, he's done a movie. He's obviously had the sad news of his dad passing. I don't know what place he is in at this moment in time, of course. So I don't know when he is literally due back to uh, be able to come back to WWE. Same with The Rock. Obviously, The Rock is always going to be uh, dragged into this uh, Bloodline storyline, and rightly so. But, uh, yeah. I just don't know when these two are scheduled to come back. So bringing Brock Lesnar into it would keep it going. And then you could move uh, Randy Orton, and Kevin Owens, maybe even Cody Rhodes away from this for a while as well. So, yeah, it's interesting. Uh, it would be interesting if they did go down that road. But I'm not really expecting it. I'm expecting, though. And uh, I think we will see him no sooner than next week. And that is Jimmy Huso's return. Uh, I mean, obviously, we speculated that of uh, this in the live stream that uh, Jimmy Huso can't be a million miles away from returning back. So, uh, 
Uh, hopefully we see him soon. And I think we see him at Money in the Bank. That is my bold prediction. Uh, I think a lot of you guys would be, uh, think the same. We'll, we'll have to wait to see you on that one, of course. Uh, obviously, uh, I can't see him coming back any sooner than, than Money in the Bank. It'd be very interesting to see what kind of version we get of Jimmy Uso as well. I don't think he comes back as uh, has he left. I think he's going to be more determined, more focused, and maybe have a few more friends with him, i.e. Ikaleo and, of course, Zilla Fatu. I mean, I don't know if they are going to be on the side of Roman and Jay uh, or Jimmy's, but we'll have to wait and see, yeah? Uh, it's just good, good stuff. Honestly, uh, what has come out of last night. Not good for Paul Lehman, obviously. It's a blessing we got taken off to a local medical facility at the end of SmackDown. But this storyline is just getting started. We are really just getting into the main bloodline storyline now. And I am sure we will be getting a Samoan civil war in wwe i cannot wait to see how this all unfolds so yeah hopefully you uh enjoyed smackdown last night sadly i know we didn't do a watch along for it uh <laughs> i haven't really watched the full highlights or the show yet but obviously this is the major talking point of uh smackdown last night so i had to do a video i had to give you my take on it all uh but yeah we will be back on Monday for Monday Night Raw, the go-home show to Money in the Bank. Oh, it's going to be an epic week of watch-alongs for sure. So make sure that you're all there for that. Anyway, I've been Dave in real life. You guys have been awesome. Until Monday. Bye for now. Oh, and Toy Hunts will be coming uh, as soon as I edit them. <laughs> they're, they're on the way. I just don't know when. Okay, bye for now. Love you all. Bye. Thank mm-hmm. you.